Christmas Philly. Today is Thursday. We are at Value Village by um, on Ellis by Polo Park. We are going to go inside, see if there's anything. If we can get a little bit of vlog footage, I'll try, but you know, you know how it is here. And then after here, we are going to head over to Value Village on by Unicity because we didn't hit that up yesterday. Mm -hmm. Then I have to go to my apartment and find, I can't find, somebody bought the Claire Sonic off my Miss Philly selling page and I can't find it. So I think it might be in my apartment, but I was pretty sure that I brought it back to my house. But it, so I'm gonna go, after Unicity, we're gonna head over to my apartment and see if the uh, Claire Sonic is there. I know I have a couple of Claire Sonics there because I have like two or three of them. Um, two that I thrifted, one that I bought full price. Anyway, let's go inside, check it out. Um, I'm hoping there's something good today because yesterday was an utter fail. <laughs> I swear like every day I just leave the shower and then my hair is like wet and blow dried with the wind from my truck <laughs> or from, you know what I mean? Anyway, let's go inside and check it out. Okay guys, so we just arrived at Polo uh, Value Village by Unicity. I'll give you guys a sneak peek. There we are, Value Village. Unicity, I haven't been here in a hot minute as well. So we ended up not picking up the Kate Spade bag, even though it was gorge, the color was cute, but the color limits a lot of people who are going to buy it. So I ended up not picking it up. And it also had a lot of wear, a lot of noticeable wear. There was darkening on the handles and there was uh, like the piping, the glazing, like the black trim the glazing that goes around the bag on the handles were uh, peeling off and as well as the sides of the bag those were, that was peeling off as well and it was very very noticeable I considered considered using a fabric leather marker to trim it um, to like fill it in with black uh, paint or dye but that's just too much work for me to do and I don't know how it's going to turn out you know and it was $39.99 plus tax and I have a 20% off coupon to you so it would have been probably about $35 um, I would have probably only got like 40, 45, 50 around there. Um, that bag probably retailed for about, at the factory outlet, about $120 maybe. So I decided to pass on it because I just wanted to be a little bit more picky with what I pick up. And yeah, so here we are at Value Village, uh, Unicity, and we are going to go inside and check it out. Hopefully we find something. Cute little Sisley bag. And this is Safiana leather. Um, it has a long strap too. It's only $17. It's really well made. It reminds me of like the Michael Kors jet set tote. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna sell though with that brand name. Here's a cute little Escada mini tote. Pochette. It's cute. But it's more expensive in the bag. Cute little matinette kind of bowler bag. $17. I think I've sold one of these before, but I think I only sold for like 20. Can't remember. There's a cute color. I kind of want this, this perfume atoma, atomizer, atomizer, refillable, rechargeable. It's kind of cool. So you don't have to carry like your entire perfume bottle with you. That's the only thing I want in there though. Hey guys, okay, so we're coming from Value Village by Unicity, as you saw from the footage. We actually found a couple of things. Um, they're not like huge things, but I just feel like based on the quality, like even comparisons online, um, I saw that there it's not really an expensive brand but the quality seems to be very good um so i'm kind of going based on that so 
here is what we picked up. We ended up picking up the Sisley bag. Um, it is 100% genuine leather, Safiano leather. Um, there are a couple of spots here and there that looks like... I don't know if I can get that out though. But the quality of it is like amazing. It's like comparable to comparable to like Michael Kors. It's like a Safiano leather top handle. There's no like wear on the glazing, which is nice. Then you have like a little Sisley plaque right there. Inside it's a zip top closure. And then inside is like super spacious. It's like it's like basically the zip is basically like the Michael Kors jet set tote is what it is. Um trying to see if there's any there's a couple of like lightning light like light spots here i don't know but i don't know if i can get that out or if i could like um use my uh fabric paint on this i was asking because not only the the the, the. <laughs> so it also has the, the long strap which is nice so that's really nice that it has the shoulder strap oh it's adjustable too okay let's put it on the longest setting like you guys saw in the footage like it looks really cute on it's very very like similar to the michael kors jet set tote um i'm probably gonna lot it together as a lot hence the name lot it together <laughs> Um, but yeah, so here's the long strap. It's nice. There's like no cracking on it. It's a really nice bag aside from a little bit of like lightning here, but it's not that noticeable. So it's super cute. It has a back pocket, which is nice as well. And then in conjunction with this, I ended up picking up this. This is a little bit more expensive. This uh, clutch that goes with it. Um, it could be used as a wallet or a clutch on its own. Take off the chains. It could be like, and it's super cute too. And it has an interior zip as well. That's what the inside looks like. So I'm going to lot it together. I basically paid, what did I pay? Um, 30 something. What was it? I basically, basically paid 30 150 so 3150 not bad not bad at all for both of these it's super cute and it's super good quality and you have like the clutch so yay we got these two <laughs> finally we got something thrifting finally um i'm expecting to get maybe like even if we paid like 32 for it for both of them i'm expecting to get probably oh my fucking god there's a there's a yellow jacket in my car Oh my god there's a what is that is that a bee what are you oh my god okay go 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 oh my god <laughs> it wasn't a bee it was like a hornet or like a yellow jacket oh my god those things sting um but yeah so um i haven't found anything in a while i think the last big thing that we got was the jean paul gauthier sunglasses and my bulgari ones but bag wise has been really dry drier than my vision but yeah so we got that hopefully i can get about 60 dollars. i'd be happy with 60 i will accept 50 but we'll see how it goes i'm gonna sell it locally obviously anyway um i have to head over to my apartment if i can fit another thrift store in i will if not then that's it for the day Sonic here. Oh, we have that one. Where's the other one? No. The fuck? Oh, maybe I'll take this and then we could like do something with the hair. I don't see the Clarisonic here anywhere. Oh, maybe it's in here. No, that's not it. Here? No. Where could it be? What is that? Oh, I need my pencil, pencil sharpener. I guess I'll grab this stuff. I'm gonna grab this stuff. Okay, we need all this stuff. 
wonder if she'll take this one because this one is actually a nicer Clarisonic. Must be somewhere in my house then, but I didn't find it. The bronzers that I've been looking for. The, this is a golden bronze, I think. Oh no, sunny by nature. Oh, Wonder Woman one. Oh, I can't take this one. Oh, the naked palette. Fred. I don't know where the Clarisonic is if it's not here. Hey guys, so I decided to stop by the uh, Dottie Village by my place because um, just, you know, you never know, right? Unless you, unless you stop by, you never know if you're going to find anything. So it's on the way home. I decided to stop by. Let's go and check it out inside. I'm going to try those on and see what they look like. like Michael Kors sunglass cases, they have a Tory Burch, they have a Coach, uh, Dolce & Gabbana, they have the Ray-Bans, hopefully this fits the other one we're gonna get. But before we buy the glasses, I'm going to check the purses quickly. Oh, oh, I thought that was a thing. Okay, let's look quickly through the bags, see if we find anything. Those Ray-Bans are a good deal. Oh, that's cute. Oh, there's a fake, oh, that was Michael Kors, that's David Jones. Oh, they're playing Vanessa Carlton. Sorry, like, Oh, they have this lug. anything as of yet. What's this? Jessica. Lacoste. This looks like a mulberry. Oh, it is a mulberry, but it's like a fake mulberry. I think. Oh, wait, is it a fake mulberry? Yeah, that's fake, right? Is it? I don't know. It doesn't feel like leather. It feels like pleather. Maybe it smells like leather. I don't know. Everybody. Okay, so we did find something at Value Village here. Um, it's a little bit pricey, but at the same time, retail compared to retail is um, cheaper. And it's a popular brand, obviously. But we ended up picking up Ray-Bans. Woo! They're brand new with tags. So, I mean, hello. I just love the, like, the different, the color of it. You know? And it's brand new with tags. Li, Lei Ping sunglasses. Lei Ping. So we'll look up online and see what they retail for, but these ones are all marked, so obviously authentic. Let's see what they look like. Ooh. So that's what they look like on. They're like aviator, oversized aviator style, which you can't really see, but <laughs> You can kind of tell. I like these ones because I don't really have a pair of aviators and I like that they're light as well. 
a little bit of a scratch on the lens, which is, I mean, it's okay. It, it, it doesn't affect your vision at all. You can't, like, it doesn't affect your vision at all. But I like that they're light and I don't have a pair of light sunglasses. But along with these, we ended up picking up the case. The case is like $4 extra, but whatever. We need a case for it. So now it fits, perfect. I bet they ha I bet they came with cases and then like they just separate them for more money because they want more money. <sighs> but it's perfect. There we go. Fits perfectly inside. There we got it. Raybounds, yay! <laughs> yeah, so it ended up costing whew, fifty three dollars and five cents, which isn't too bad. But I mean, I'll have to Google and see how much they retail. I'm guessing they retail for like $1.99 probably. So paying like a significant portion off that is pretty good. I mean, I'm not really in a position to be spending money on sunglasses, but at the same time, it's like, hello, I'm glowing up and I need to match things that match my glow up, okay? <laughs> so when you find a designer item that's significantly less than retail, you have to pounce on it no matter what, okay? And I'm a big sunglass whore right now. I love sunglasses. Sunglasses, especially with my new eyes. I need sunglasses, so, especially in the summer, hello. Um, these are just like my Bulgari whatever glasses, Bulgari. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it so much. Thank you for all the support that you guys give. I love you, love you, love you. You guys are amazing. Um, don't forget, be positive. Oh, what's going on with my hair? I hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing great myself and yeah, just have a great day. Um...